Hello and welcome back to iGamer Let's Play Evil Genius. So where we left off, everything was going wrong, but we had a shiny new hotel. So, no, come on, sweetheart, just please stop screaming. You're really gonna... We're not, we're not gonna get the five-star rating on Yelp from her. Oh well, let's keep building this trap to... This, I guess not really murder people. This trap won't murder people. If, um... Oh, crud. If I put a door here, it would murder people, because they just slam into that door over and over again. Okay, so we're running out of money. But, we do have an awful lot of guards. So we're gonna have... So we've got some valets covering the heat for the guards. And I can't turn on our command center, so I have no idea what makes more money. I know Europe does, because it's Europe. But other than that, I've got nothing. Ah! The good Mr. DeLuca. Marvin DeLuca. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Alright, so we need... Actually, let's leave you guys there. Really? All five technicians? Alright, let's send you home. And let's grab you two. And... Send you to a nation we aren't currently stealing from. And let's evacuate Europe as our heat's starting to get high. Send you over there, and you over there. And get rid of you. Okay, um, so yes, we'll have that going while we deal with other stuff. Usually I just cut that out, because I usually try to get to the, the base to a stable point, and just stockpile money and avoid buying things. But in a case like this, come on, just calm down. Uh, in a case like this, I'd prefer to just not skip that. Well, because it's, you know, we've, are you still just... You know what I think's happened here? I think he's stuck. I think he's, yeah, I think he's actually stuck in this little corner here. <laughs> Oh, crap on a cracker. Um, okay, 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 okay. Um, what is sucking up all this power? What is sucking up all this power? <gasps> Traps suck up power. Oh, this is... This is not good. Do you suck up power? What sucks up power? You suck up power? It's these. It's these that suck up power. All right. Go away. Go away. Can I not tag you for deletion? That is extremely odd. Okay, well I need to jam another power plant in here somewhere. So I'm thinking... If I remove you... Alright, we're going to end up getting a little bit experimental with the way power plants work in this game. Oh, whoops. Let's cancel you. Why can't it be constructed? Oh. Object is blocking this room. Oh, it's because of this door here. So now he's gonna come and just do my favorite deletion animation. You're just crunched into a little cube and throw it behind your back. Yep. <laughs> Recycling's easy, guys. You just... and done. Man, um, part of me wants to just build a corridor along here so I can delete this one and then delete and then build it properly and then delete that old one. I hope I never have to expand this armory. I guess I could just keep on expanding it backwards, but still. See, I have left room for the control room to expand and possibly the barracks. That's the issue with this whole jammed in the back thing. It looks like I love how this looks. This is such more, so much more colorful and very, very full of stuff. And let's start on that mission. Okay, heat's getting high with these guys. And let's pop you back. Egypt has lots of money, right? Or the Middle East has lots of money, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, see, this is usually what I just cut out, because it's it's a lot of just, yeah, this this will work. But since I'm building stuff, and I'm feeling talkative, I'm going to keep it in. Well, I mean, if you're listening to this, well then, of course I kept it in. So, the editing and whatnot on these videos will be getting better in the near future, as I might be able to get a person I know that knows more about video editing than me to teach me about it. Which would be great. I think. It's the person who has to edit them and just go, why did you do this? Alright, the explosion. Best part. Best part. Yeah, yeah. Alright, this should be a good stop gap. It seems like in in a, if you think about it realistically, it is arguably the worst way to. Oh, can I destroy this corridor? Oh, cool. The West Coast is abuzz with rumors that Marvin DeLuca, the reclusive crime boss, has been spotted boarding a plane at a private airfield outside Los Angeles. DeLuca is rarely seen in public since the famous Laszlo twin murders. So, whatever has drawn the Don out of his hiding must be important. Perhaps a grand meeting of crime buses, Bill? I wouldn't like to be in a room with guys like that. All those big guns. You think they're compensating for something, Larry? Hey? Well, I, I must stress that Bill's views do not represent my own. Hey, Bill, you want to get cat? <laughs> We're going to have to kill Bill. Actually, now that I just realized that, that could be viewed as a joke. We can't go kill Bill because it's a terrible joke. Crap. <clears throat> so, you are trapped, but fortunately you're busy so you're not going to realize you're trapped. And hopefully we can build this out because currently you're just trapped in a room with generators. Generators that run on I have no idea what. I'm as I've been assuming like diesel fuel or something. But, eh, hopefully. Hopefully not, actually, for your sake. Yeah, so we'll be able to reorganize this. I had not considered how much power a a trap will take up. May have to rethink some of my trap placements. Okay, sensors don't take up any power though. That's good. But this room this room's gonna six uh, eight, ten. So yeah, this is ten power, so I can't run that room yet. But I would love if whomever's job it was to come in. Nice. Shoot. No, pick it back up again. Yeah. Okay. Maximilian, how are you doing? Ah. Let's go join our other friends. Superb. doing something important. Now, I'm just going to go off topic a little bit here and ignore that high security door is being breached. Have you ever seen people sit down like this? Like, the only reason, the only reason I've ever seen, like, him, okay, I get picking, you know, a sort of middling spot, but DeLuca sitting down, not next to him, not across from him, but almost across from him, as we discuss that. Um, just, just sort of like a really bad distribution. I get DeLuca like that. That is this right here. This is the best seating. This is a little bit of how human psychology, guys. This, this setup right here, best seating. You're on a date. You sit at an angle like this, because if you're crosswise, you're seen as you're, you're directly at someone, and people don't like them to be directly at unless they're really open to them. And if you're on, you know, say a first date or something like that, that's not what you want. So you kind of come at them from the side. That's why if you're hitting on someone at a club, unless you're, you know, good at it, 
it's generally recommended that you just sort of like stand to the side and you turn your head. You face your body away, but you turn your head so that you aren't like right in front of this person and you know making them anxious because you're this new person and oh god, why are you forcing so much of yourself on this person all at once? But you know, take that for what it's worth. There. Oh no, you're gonna be trapped. Um, put that up there. <laughs> yep, just put it back in its little hammer space box and move that over there. If you don't mind. Alright, let's check out the world. Alright, you are gone. Oh man, we've been sitting here plotting. We've uncovered a bunch of different missions. And the reason we want to do missions is to up our notoriety, which means we can have more and more minions. You can kind of up your, you can kind of force your minion count up by, um, by building lockers, but really the best way to do it is by upping your notoriety. And as our notoriety goes up, we will unlock more henchmen. So Junpai will not be alone in being our right-hand man. He will be to the left a bit, I guess. Okay, I don't know where I was going with that. So let's stop. Uh, let's stop harassing Patriot. And let's start harassing Saber. Hopefully sometime soon we can turn the... Ah, see, look, you're nice and ready to come out now. Oh, whoops, don't interrogate, just let him out. Alright, can we turn the control room back on? Ah, control room back online. Fantastic. One of our valets died and I don't know why. Whatever. Oh no, have you guys gotten... Okay, look, I gotta rid, rid of these things. I'm okay with them getting pushed back, but when it's my own guy setting them off, it's a little troublesome. Why are you screaming and running around? Why aren't you drinking? This is what everybody else does. <sighs> arr, 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 arr. Alright, so this is on, this is off, this is have extra people. So the room's sort of always manned. So I want to do it on the piano, because it's so nice. I wonder if I could put, like, a tiny piece of hotel lobby in here with a man on the piano. Um. Oh, man, that's really tempting now. Um. Okay, I know at some point we're going to unlock a laboratory, and if I can somehow squeeze that in here... We're going to do that, but the laboratory will be the more important thing. Alright, so you can see how many red dots we have on our, on our map stuck inside the hotel. And when they're inside the hotel, they aren't in the important parts of the base, which actually generate heat. Oh, that trap is not hooked up at all. Let's, let's, let's hook that up. Alright, cool beans. Cool beans? What the fuck? Forget I ever said that. Please, just... God, no. Alright. So... I'm probably just going to cut here as... Yeah... Okay, anyways, as I was saying, sorry, I'm probably just going to cut here, and we're going to do the required plotting to find a couple more of these crime bosses. Okay. New goal, we need to find some looty. We need to... looty? Booty. We need to steal some shit, is what I'm trying to say. 
Come on, stop and salute and let people catch up to you to punch you in the head. There you go. Um, yes. So we need to find some of that to up loyalty. Because we're having some serious loyalty issues. If we look at our loyalty across the board... 66... 66. This isn't great. This is really bad, actually. This is... This is... Because you think about it. As a single minion, that's... Ah, it's not great, but that's not that bad. This? This is catastrophic. Because you think about... On average, if everyone was like that, that'll be okay. But that's not how it's going to work. What it is, is it's going to be... You know, guys like this fella here, whose loyalty is slowly going back up. Look at that. Bringing down the whole curve. See, so his loyalty's going up. So yeah, this has gone up by a point. So let's... Yeah. Anyways, as I was saying, gonna cut, find more crime alloys, find more loot as well. Pacific Radio. Ah, there we go. Alright, pull all of you guys out. Actually, no. Okay, so you can see our capacity for minions went up. Which is fantastic. So now we're going to have some busy bees in our training room. Buzz. Buzz. Okay. I'm actually not sure what is on Security Network 1. <laughs> oh yeah, Security Network 1 is... The Outdoors. I think it should also include the hotel. Yeah. Oh, right. Let's also add... Yeah, let's get a base response from that. Okay. Ah, we found him! We found him. We've already got enough people in the in the area to deal with this. Let's send a couple more guards. Perfect. So we found uh, this guy, and look at this man. He's like an eye patch. Some white hair, a purple jacket, my god. Dastardly. Anyways, so, yeah, now we're gonna talk him into coming by. I don't know how. Uh, I don't know, we sent a bunch of guards. Maybe we'll kill some people. Uh, you know how it happens, like, trying to get your friends to come over and you just... kill their neighbors. As a show of force. But I think we should start spreading out some of our plotting across Russia. So let's pull you out of here. Let's put you in here and just have you plotting. And... Actually, no. You can just deal with that yourself. Alright, get you three out. Put one there, one there. Plotting, plotting. Perfect. And let's put a guard here, guard here, and a guard here, just to try and keep him alive. And this Ming vase is nine workers. But our heat's getting high in the area, so we may wish to lay off them. Though Smash, Smash is not as angry at us. Four workers, a valet, and a guard. Walk into a bar. And... Play two warlords off each other. Such that we can control some small part of Africa for our own personal gain. If that isn't... Oh, no, don't go in here. There's stuff you shouldn't see in here. Shoot. Huh. 
I feel like there is more I could have done to stop this. Alright, now you guys get an aggro. Jumpai! Come to mess them up. Oh, well, the nice thing is we won't even have to clean up the bodies or anything. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's withdraw operatives from the re region. Oh, hello? Oh, that's guard. All right. Uh, let's steal this as well. Five, six, seven, and technicians was what we also needed. Oh man, send a bunch of guards along so the techs don't die. Ah, perfect. So, we have completed the first couple... Okay, this is going to get completed as soon as he finishes walking there. Alright, Nikita Lenov, the notorious butcher of St. Petersburg, has arrived here in your very island. He is refusing to acknowledge your authority. You're on my goddamn island! Like, he's just, pst, you know, like, it's a mountain base. Like, pst, you know, ah, you got 50, 60 guys, some of them are... Uh, pst, I don't know. Apparently he goes pssst a lot, because that's all I know. So we're going to put him in the mess hall counters big mixing bowl. I love it. Alright, let's find this dude. Uh, yes, I imagine there are plenty of intruders being detected on the security network. Is this him? Nope, we're going to set you to weaken because you're going to steal my things. And I do not have enough money to have things being stolen. Oh, come on, guys. I'm starting to have second thoughts about this, this, uh, these traps here. Actually, yeah. These are causing too much, uh, too much panic on the behalf of the tourists. And he just lets them in. Alright, so you're just going to take the next three years to walk over there. Where is this Nikita person? Mm. Ah, there we are. Set you to capture. And let's send Junpai off to do that. Yes, we'll give you the proper respect and get a proper minion to do it to go beat the ever-loving shit out of you and then put you in a mixing bowl. I don't know if I'd respect someone author someone's authority if they beat the crap out of me and put me into a mixing bowl. I'd probably... Actually, yeah. I probably would. I'd probably start listening to them more. We need more valets. Oh, we keep on getting our valets murdered. It's a problem. Unfortunately, we have a bunch being trained. Yep, we've got four new valets. They'll be ready soon. I really like that you can see how far down the training line they are, just by checking this. Because there's really no way of telling. Like, we can tell there's two that haven't gotten started yet, because they're just waiting on them. But we can tell this guy's done. Ah, yeah, see? Here we go. This guy's gonna get... gonna get to work. Alright, so I assume he finished walking here. Ah, see, now this. Continuing to talk about the social dynamics of sitting down at a frickin' table. I like this. This is a good way to think, okay, if I'm gonna work together with these people, if I sit next to them, they're gonna be forced to sort of... It, it, that's the issue with tables, they kind of turn into one side versus the other when they have angles on them. That's why it's called a round table discussion. So he may be trying to ally with these two people. He said, reading into so much. Alright, so we have 38,000. Alright, $38,000 has got to be... I want to say it's less gold than that. I used to... I used to... 
uh, handle money for the mint here in town. Well, in Winnipeg proper. Where we print all sorts of money for Canada, lots of French Africa, um, all over the place, really. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, actually. Uh, and I used to load uh, load money for them. Hello. Wasn't a bad landing. Investigating. Alright, let's keep those weekend tags going. That weekend tag, too. So, and it used to be, uh, I used to just drive, I used to drive a forklift doing this. And this much, maybe like a half a stack of that, it, it's like two, three feet by a foot by maybe half a foot. Oh, let's go put you in a blunder. Yuck, 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 yuck. Would weigh seven to twelve hundred pounds. Like, if you put it on the tip of the forks, an eight-ton forklift would have, like, its back wheels kind of start to kick up into the air, which was sketchy as shit. <laughs> But also fun. And it's just... Like, all the, oh, I'll just break into the bank and steal a bunch of money. You gotta go after paper money, man. You cannot steal coins. Coins are heavy as shit. Like, a thousand pounds of coin is not that big. It Like, a, a, a 400 pound parcel of coins, which looks like... A, it's, it, it's about the same size as a couple of pounds of ground beef. And it's actually wrapped up in brown paper and everything. Is too heavy for a human being to just pick up to move. Which made doing those mint loads take forever because if you screw it up, like you, it's if it's on the ground and not on a pallet, you can't get a forklift underneath it. No, you, you're screwed. That's it. Game over, man. Game over. Speaking of game over. <laughs> Uh, I bet you don't think you're so cool now. And this actually buffs loyalty for everybody in the... Excuse me. This actually buffs loyalty for everybody in the area. It's a shame there isn't anybody in the area, but, you know... Oh, crap, you're in here murdering people. Um, Alright, let's go do that mission. And let's steal this. Only 15 seconds, huh? I remember talking about this. <laughs> Alright, uh, can... Oh yes, let's go steal this Ming vase. Howdy, this is KNCR Radio, bringing you another slice of life from the good old Midwest. Apologies in advance to those of you waiting for the corn price index, as the farmer's news has been pushed down the schedules by the shocking events of today. Despite their best efforts, Patriot forces were unable to prevent the atrocity that has left the region reeling. You cannot afford to... Oh! Crud, I didn't remember to turn that back down. Ah, well. Okay, so now we have a spacesuit. So now let us put the spacesuit in the rec room. Because that's the cool place to put it. Now we do have a video camera on it, right? Yes, we do. Perfect. Chinese whispers succeeded. Right, let's get you out. And let's withdraw all of you. I can never understand a single word that an answer says. Alright, well, let's send a ton of workers out here. Not that many workers. And a couple of technicians. And some guards to keep them all alive. And some valets from get to keep the heat lit from... Ah, bop, 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 bop. Who will not let the heat get too high. Ah, look. He's transferred over to our way of thinking. Where are you? Where are you? I need to gloat. Where? <laughs> we put you in a mixing bowl, you douchebag. Didn't even clean it first. <laughs> okay. Ah, see, now it's him versus the rest of them. But you'll end up with this, like, young man versus, like, new guard versus the old guard kind of a thing. Ah, new objective. I'm assuming... Nigel E. Wing, the CIA agent, has since gone rogue and is now the ruler of all criminal activities on the African continent. 
He was last seen cruising down the Nile with a vast shipment of arms and a veritable army of loyal tribesmen. He won't be easy to find and makes a point of only seeing seriously connected criminals. If you aren't notorious enough, you'll never find him. <sighs> hmm. I guess we will need to continue to crank out some missions before we can go into the heart of darkness. See, guys? See? I went to LA class. English class. I don't know what, what everybody else calls it, but I call it LA. Um, I don't know how not not notorious, <laughs> notorious we need to be before we can do that mission. So I'm going to just continue to do them. Yeah, we have a couple investigators here. Now oh, we have a bunch of people returning from the world. Our control room is completely shut down. Extremely confused on that front. Where the heck is everybody? Oh, crud, we're out of money. Uh, send a bunch of guards, and some valets. Oh goodness. Oh goodness gracious. Oh right, they're all getting shipped out into the world. It's the issue when you spread yourself a little too thin. Oops, don't capture him. Ah, see? There's one tourist in here. <laughs> Drinking a drink I can only assume he poured himself. <laughs> Alright, uh, hotel plan is not not the best plan we've had so far. Not the worst, though. Uh, nothing's on fire. Most of our minions are quite alive. And... The predominance of the world is... Okay, you guys are mad at me. You guys are gonna be even madder. Uh, <laughs> okay, and Patriots kind of PO'd at us. Wait until we blow up Nashville. Oh, God. But I can't do that yet. I need scientists. Because you need science to blow up Nashville. There's some there's there's a joke in there about becoming really good at country music and blowing up Nashville that way, but I can't find it. Whatever. All right. So it looks like things have stabilized. So we need to go crank out some evil. And ooh. This episode may end up running a little long. Oh, hey, look at that. intruders all over the place. Alright, anyways. I think that'll wrap up this uh, the episode for today. I've been Justin. You've been wonderful. Thanks for watching iGamer Let's Play.